What's good, everybody? VK here. So, it's been 20 months without alcohol. This video is a little bit late, slightly late. So, we're a couple days late, but that's okay. It took me a little bit to make this. I've just been busy and working the last couple days. That's why I haven't done reactions. But I wanted to make this video for you guys tonight. I want to just talk about some basic struggles and stuff that you might go through at the beginning of recovering from alcoholism and addiction and the way that it will spread into the later stages as you go over a year and stuff like that and just give some little advice from my own personal experience to anybody who is struggling and who is new to sobriety or might be thinking about getting sober. I just want to talk a little bit about the emotions and stuff that goes into that so that maybe that could help you and inspire you through whatever you're going through. So I first off want to say thank you to everybody that's shown support. You guys have blessed me in many ways. It's such a better life than what I was living before. You've afforded me the opportunity to get on here and spread some inspiration and spread some love and share my own personal experience. It's been very therapeutic for me. I know that it's helped many people on here and the goal is to continue and help as many more people as possible every single opportunity that we get. So that's why I like to get on here and do this for you guys. I really appreciate all of your support. First off, thank you for everything. Like I said, you guys have blessed my life and changed my life in ways that I, I never imagined possible before I got sober from alcohol 20 months ago. So when you first get sober, one of the first things you're going to have to deal with is coming to acceptance with the fact that you were probably wrong in like 95% of scenarios of your life at most points when you were using. You might have thought that you were right, but you were, even if you were close to right, you were probably just a hair shy of actually being right with whatever it was that you were trying to do. That's just what substance will do to you. So you're going to have to first off factor all of those things in and then change those behaviors that caused you to get into those situations and to make those decisions that weren't quite the right ones to make. A lot of people are really stubborn. I'm one of those people that I hate admitting whenever I'm wrong about something I always have. So it's like, for me, that was a big struggle at the beginning. But then after I would say like a month passed and I got really fucking overly emotional about everything for a few months. And that was before I even got back on YouTube and like started making videos on here again and stuff. I was just really overly emotional about everything. It was really tasking to get through I didn't think I was gonna make it I, I was like on the verge so many times in the first few months of just saying screw it and giving up on the whole sobriety from alcoholism that was really tough for me at the beginning but if you can accept those behaviors and then change them and start building yourself into a better person, that's the ultimate goal at the end of the day. You're not competing with anyone else for anything in life, like at all. What your job is, is to fucking live a better life and become a better version of you every single day and just focus on that and do good for the world and for people around you and let that be your inspiration where you remember when you were using and shit like that and you couldn't like do nice things for people and you couldn't afford to do kind gestures for people just on a random whim because you're too busy spending all of your dollars on fucking drugs and alcohol and you're just running your pockets dry right <laughs> it's just like fucking pocket lint left in your life at all moments <laughs> yeah once you get out of that you can start sharing blessings with other people as well and you don't have to make that a public thing that you do. You don't have to fucking go tell people that you're doing it. Just do it. Like, just make it a habit of something to do is to bless somebody when you see somebody less fortunate than you and stuff like that. Start using that extra money that you had to not only get better things in your life for yourself and 
obtain better circumstances for yourself. But once you've started to obtain those things also, go out and share that with people that don't have those things. Like when you see somebody that doesn't have them, don't like wait for someone to come ask you or something like if you just see them without it make it a point to fucking go out there and give it to them in whatever fashion that you can just help somebody out in that way that's really important to me that became extremely important to me it's always been important to me but unfortunately with my substance abuse i wasn't really able to fucking properly help people out throughout most of my life but the second that like i noticed myself having like extra here and there it just clicked in my brain that it was extra i was like that's extra and i don't have anything that i need or particularly want with that so what am i going to do with it and then i started helping other people as i saw opportunities present themselves in whatever form or fashion that was that's a really important thing it'll make you grow as a person it'll start to make you like grow a better heart and better compassion and like empathy for the world and for people because those substances will cause you to lack empathy in a lot of situations of your life so taking actions like that will start to build your heart and like your moral character back up inside of your brain and you'll start to move better naturally every single day so I think that's very important, like charitable acts and stuff like that inside of sobriety and helping people that might be going through the mental struggle of addiction that want someone to talk to or just need some advice and stuff like that. Be charitable with your knowledge and your experience as well whenever people are seeking out advice or want help, you know. I think it's really important to start gravitating towards those things, especially once you've hit like a year and you're heading over a year going into closer to two years where I am now I would say now it's just like every single day I literally seek out a fucking it's like my mission to find somebody to do something nice for and it's just such a great way to live like you get to see a smile put on someone's face you get to know that they're okay you get to know that you're capable of providing and helping for people that are in need and then it makes you start to develop this better sense of community about everything and you'll start to just even random interactions with strangers will become like the most special moments of your entire life just because of how you're carrying yourself and how you see that happiness manifest in the situations around you whenever you take those actions and you see that it affected those people's day whenever maybe they were having a really fucking shit time and a bad time that day i think that's one of the most important things once you get sober is to go out of your way to help other people in whatever form you can i know i just went on a really long rant about that that's what this video turned into being about that's actually because i've been thinking about that a lot over the last week and everything so it's very important to me that people go and do that especially in sobriety it's just a really healing thing for everybody involved not even just yourself it's healing for the community and the environments around you so help out in whatever ways that you can another thing that's gonna mess with you is like you're if you start doing really well and it's like unexpected that you're just not expecting everything to start building up better the way that it is you might deal with some imposter syndrome kind of things inside of your brain that tell you you don't deserve all of the good things and you've fucked up so many things in your life that why are you like worthy of being here now listen the greatest fucking people that we see and that we look up to pretty much share a similar background story of coming from very crazy tumultuous violent even deadly situations where they pulled themselves out of it and then created something inspirational out of themselves and used it to inspire the world around them through their own struggles and survival story so keep that in mind if you start dealing with those feelings of like not being worthy of the life that you have just remember that 
you are so far from the first person to probably ever deal with that feeling because we all have. <laughs> you know, it, it's just natural. Your brain won't want to accept that things are good because it's so used to them being bad. It'll want you to throw yourself back into the bad just as a like a a weird trauma response is what I would call it. It's just your wanting to respond to the traumatic thoughts inside of your head the same way that you used to and you have to train yourself to flip that into a way to give positive advice and do charitable acts and nice things for other people in your life through the blessings that you receive during sobriety and everything like that that stuff is really important to me so I hope that that resonates with some of you and I hope that that can inspire you to go out and make a difference in your surroundings, in your communities, your environments and stuff like that. That's something that I really believe in is that sense of community and actually getting to know the people around you and shit like that. I think it's important to at least know each other on like a base level where you can trust that the community will help each other and everything like that. And being inside of sober living whenever it comes to alcoholism and drug addiction that's something that you'll definitely have the opportunity to do because you're not going to be wasting all of your time with drugs and alcohol and wasting all of your money on that as well so very important to do that it'll definitely help in your recovery and give you a lot of experiences and connections with other people and it'll help you to grow more as a person so that's really the big thing that I wanted to say in this video. Um, uh, also, we're going to touch on the second half of this video now. I have an album coming out on the 2nd of next month, Monday, less than a week away. I would appreciate if everybody would go check that out. It's really deep. It's got a very emotional storyline behind it the story in it is very roller coaster-esque it's fucking it's a wild ride i've listened to it a few times now and it triggers crazy amounts of emotions all kinds of different emotions when you listen to these songs in this specific order the way i structured the album so that as well i just wanted to throw that in here real quick i appreciate everybody who supported the music already i know a lot of you are excited to hear the album so i can't wait for it to come out for you guys lots of relatable and deep topics inside of the lyrics personal topics that involve my real life and i, I write all of my music about my real life and things that i experience and things that i see around me and stuff that I watch and stuff that I study and look into and shit like that all inspires my songs so that's like the vibe of the album is sort of in that direction you guys will understand once you hear it those of you that listen to it if you're not here for the music and you're just here for the addiction content and reaction videos and stuff I appreciate you just as much and I'm glad that I can provide inspiration in that way for you if you're not somebody that listens to the music but if you are somebody the album's coming out on Monday it's going to be an awesome ride for you guys that are going to listen to it that want to check it out I appreciate all of the support it really means the world if you guys are struggling with mental health and addiction man please go get yourself some help 20 months ago, I was on my deathbed, quite literally. I was told by a doctor that I probably had less than a year if I continued on the path I was on. And now I'm releasing my first album in like four years, maybe four years or so, five years even maybe. It's been a while since I dropped a whole album. So I'm finally getting to drop another album. I'm finally living a life that's better and putting myself out here to try to inspire the best that I can. I let you guys watch me grow and I watch you guys grow on the channel as well with the way you talk to each other, the interactions I have with all of you. There's a lot of growth that's happened since I started this back up and got on here to talk to you guys and that's the continuation of the journey. That's forward motion is all we have to go for here is to continue growing. And as long as we're growing, the mission is succeeding. And that's all that there is to it. Please go get help if you need it, man. Live a better life. I want to leave you guys with two quotes to close out the video before I get off of here. Like I said, I really appreciate all of you. 
and these are two that are really important to me that I was reading earlier, so I decided I was going to throw them at the end of this video for you guys. It's the only thing I planned about this video. So this first one is really important. I'm not going to extensively talk about these. I'm just going to say them, and then I want you guys to think about them for yourselves and take what you get from them. I want to leave these subjective for you guys. So the first one is character is how you treat those who can do nothing for you. And the next one, there is nothing noble in being superior to your fellow man. True nobility is being superior to your former self. Help each other. Love each other. Go get help if you need it. Live your best life. Chase your dreams. Inspire others. Share the blessings. Spread the love. I appreciate the fuck out of you guys. Thank you for everything. It's love always. Have a blessed night. Peace.